Ever feel like you're drowning in debt and can't see a way out? It's a feeling far too many of us know all too well. You're not alone. In fact, in this modern age, being in debt has almost become a universal experience. Everywhere you look, it seems like people are shouldering the weight of various types of debt. Credit card balances that never seem to zero out, student loans that feel like a constant shadow, mortgages that feel like mountains impossible to climb. It's a burden that can feel as heavy as the world on your shoulders. But here's the thing, debt, as overwhelming as it may seem, is not a life sentence. It's a financial challenge, yes, but not an insurmountable one. It's a puzzle just waiting to be solved. Well, fear not, there are effective methods to tackle this issue head on. And that's exactly what we're going to discuss in this video. Stay tuned. First things first, we need to understand the nature of your debt. So let's dive right into the details because, just as with anything in life, the devil is in the details. When it comes to debt, there are three key specifics that you need to know. The amount you owe, the interest rates, and the minimum payment required. Knowing the exact amount you owe may seem like a no-brainer, but you'd be surprised at how many people are unsure of their total debt. It's essential to have a clear picture of this. Consolidate all your debt information, be it credit cards, student loans, mortgages, or personal loans, and write it down. Next, take a look at the interest rates. Why is this important, you ask? Well, interest rates determine how much extra you're paying on top of what you borrowed. A lower interest rate means you're paying less over time, while a higher rate means you're shelling out more. So, knowing your interest rates can help you strategize your repayments. And finally, the minimum payment. This is the smallest amount you can pay each month to avoid penalties. However, only making the minimum payment means you'll end up paying a lot more in the long run due to interest. So now that you know the what, let's talk about the how. How do you use this information to your advantage? The answer is prioritization. High interest debts are the big bad wolves of your debt story. They grow rapidly and can quickly become unmanageable. Therefore, it makes sense to target these debts first. Paying off high interest debts as quickly as possible can save you a significant amount of money in the long run. Remember this is not about quick fixes. It's about making informed decisions that will help you in your journey towards financial freedom. Knowledge is power. When you understand your debt, you can create a plan to conquer it. So grab that pen and paper and let's start mapping out your path to a debt-free future. Now let's dive into the first method, the snowball method. This method, popularized by finance guru Dave Ramsey, is all about momentum. Picture yourself rolling a small snowball down a hill. As it descends, it picks up more snow, growing larger and faster. That's exactly how this method works with your debts. You start by listing all your debts from smallest to largest, regardless of interest rates. You throw all your extra money at the smallest debt while making the minimum payments on the rest. Once the smallest debt is paid off, you roll the money you were paying on that debt into the next smallest debt. This process repeats, creating a snowball effect as you eliminate each debt one by one. The snowball method has its pros. It gives you a psychological boost by letting you see progress quickly. Each debt you pay off gives you a sense of accomplishment, which can be a powerful motivator to keep going. It's all about creating positive reinforcement and momentum. However, the snowball method isn't without its cons. The biggest drawback is that it doesn't take into account the interest rates on your debts. You could end up paying more in the long run if you have a larger debt with a high interest rate. But remember, personal finance is just that, personal. The right method for you depends on your individual circumstances and what motivates you to keep chipping away at your debts. If you're the type who thrives on quick wins and needs that dose of instant gratification to stay motivated, then the snowball method could be your ticket to a debt-free life. In essence, the snowball method is all about small beginnings leading to big victories. It's about creating a positive cycle of debt repayment that keeps you motivated and helps you see the light at the end of the tunnel. It's about turning the seemingly impossible task of becoming debt-free into a series of small, achievable goals. The snowball method is great for those who need a quick win to stay motivated. Next, we have the avalanche method. Let's dive right into the heart of it, the avalanche method. This strategy for paying off debt is akin to facing a mountain head-on, and it's as formidable as it sounds. It involves directing your focus towards the debts with the highest interest rates first. Imagine for a moment you're standing at the base of a towering mountain of debt. The peak represents the debt with the highest interest rate. With the avalanche method, you're not phased by the height of the peak, instead you begin your ascent, tackling that highest interest debt first and steadily making your way down. 
So why is this method so effective? Well, by focusing on the highest interest rate debt, you minimize the overall interest you would pay over time. It's like cutting off the head of the snake, so to speak. Once that's handled, the rest of the debt mountain becomes significantly easier to navigate. However, just like any other strategy, the avalanche method has its pros and cons. On the plus side, you'll save more money in the long run as you're reducing the amount of interest accumulating over time. It's a financially smart choice, especially if you have larger debts with high interest rates. On the flip side, the avalanche method requires a great deal of discipline and patience. It might take longer to see the fruits of your labor as you're tackling the biggest debt first. For some, this can be discouraging and may lead to a feeling of making little progress. Yet it's important to remember that progress is not always immediately visible, especially when dealing with debt. Just like an avalanche gaining momentum, the initial movements may seem slow and laborious, but the impact can be monumental when it hits full stride. In summary, the avalanche method is a powerful strategy for those who are committed to minimizing interest payments. It may require persistence and resilience, but the financial benefits can be substantial in the long run. The avalanche method is a smart choice for those who are committed to minimizing interest payments. Another option to consider is debt consolidation. So, what exactly is debt consolidation? In essence, it's a financial strategy that involves taking out a new loan to pay off multiple debts. Imagine if you're juggling several high-interest credit card balances, student loans, or other forms of debt. Debt consolidation can roll these multiple debts into one, ideally with a lower interest rate. This method works by replacing multiple monthly payments with a single one. It's like trading in a handful of confusing puzzles for one larger but simpler puzzle. And with this new loan, you typically get a lower overall interest rate, which can save you money in the long run. But who might benefit from debt consolidation? It can be a good fit for those with a strong credit score, as they're more likely to secure a loan with a favorable interest rate. It's also beneficial for those feeling overwhelmed by managing multiple debt payments. If you're constantly playing catch-up with due dates and lenders, consolidation might be your ticket to a simpler, more manageable repayment plan. Now let's talk about the pros and cons. On the plus side, debt consolidation simplifies your payments. Instead of keeping track of several debts, you only need to worry about one. It can also lower your interest rate, potentially saving you money over time. However, it's not a magic bullet. If you're not careful, you might end up in a cycle of borrowing. Remember, debt consolidation is a loan, and you're still in debt. It's also worth noting that a lower monthly payment might mean a longer repayment period. So you could end up paying more in the long run. And finally, your credit score could take a hit, at least initially, due to the hard inquiry that comes with securing a new loan. But, if managed well, it could improve over time. Debt consolidation can simplify payments and reduce interest rates, but it's not for everyone. So, before jumping in, weigh your options, understand the risks, and consider seeking advice from a financial advisor. So, we've covered three effective methods to pay off debt. We began by exploring the importance of understanding your debt. It's vital to know exactly how much you owe, to whom, and at what interest rate. This foundational knowledge sets the stage for your debt repayment journey. Then we delved into the snowball method, where you start by tackling your smallest debts first and gradually move up to the larger ones. This approach is all about momentum and celebrating small victories along the way. Next, we discuss the avalanche method, which is about paying off debts with the highest interest rates first. It's a strategy that demands patience, but can save you a significant amount in the long run. Lastly, we touched on debt consolidation, a method that combines all your debts into one, often with a lower interest rate. Remember, the best method depends on your personal situation and discipline. But no matter what, you have the power to free yourself from debt. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to keep up with the latest content.